Merry Christmas, Internet World. I'm on my way to the gym. The uh, gym is going to be closed tomorrow, so I'm going to go ahead and get a nice full body in. And tomorrow I'm heading to a, to a friend's house for uh, Christmas dinner, so no gym. Uh, it's just going to be a nice cheat day. I'm going to probably eat a bunch of cake and stuff. It's going to be phenomenal. So, uh, I'm going to try and explain as best I can. It's, it, it's hard for me to articulate it exactly right. I jump all over the place a little bit. But I do see some tie-ins that I don't know if a lot of people see or not. Um, and why I tie it in is... It's mainly because it all goes under the blanket of big government. Big political government. So, bear with me. See if, you know, see, I'm going to try to articulate it in, in, in a way that makes sense. Maybe I fail at it. I don't know. So... I just listened to a uh, an awkward podcast with uh, Attorney Binger from the Kenosha Kyle House. Good, our Kyle House. Wow, <laughs> that's funny. Kyle Rittenhouse trial, and now remember, he has the ability to prosecute people who break the law. That is that is his power. Okay. In his mind, Kyle broke the law. Although the video shows it was clear self-defense, in his mind, just the mere fact of having a firearm was instigation to the situation. That is it. That is it. There is nothing else just the fact that Kyle had the weapon. In this podcast, he had actually stated that if Gage Grosskreutz or Joseph Rosenbaum or Anthony Huber or even Jump Kick Man, and this is a direct con contradiction to Kenosha law and, and federal law, okay? Bear that in mind. That if any of them would would have shot Kyle that they would not have prosecuted because in his belief it would have been they would have perceived him as an active shooter now tell me exactly how that is not indicative of political bias with the enforcement of law and tell me that that's not dangerous. Okay? So we have idiots like that enforcing laws based on what they what what their bias is. That's fucking dangerous. Very dangerous. Doesn't matter what side of the political aisle you lean on, and if that prosecutor or anybody enforcing the law lies on that same politi political ideology, does not matter. You don't do that at all, ever. You don't fucking do that. That is what this country has become. This country has also become. And it has been for uh, for a while now. This is, I guess, you could say a little bit of my uh, more uh, left, but yet very libertarian side kind of plays here. So you have that one guy sentenced to 110 years in prison for losing his brakes in Colorado on a on a tractor trailer. He lost his brakes. Which does happen. You know how you know that this happens? One, on 
all highways on the downhill side, there are runaway truck ramps. Sometimes the brakes go out. There's no other way to explain it. 110 years in prison. And I listened to the prosecution's closing argument. And that bitch knows nothing about trucks or driving or anything. They had to blame somebody. They had to. Now, is that a political leaning? Eh, I don't know. I guess since everything is political, it is. They have to blame somebody. Somebody has to take the fall for a tragic accident. An accident. All the while, I mean, the, the judge himself said his hands were tied. He had to do the, this minimum. But there are people out there who get drunk and drive and kill more people. And kill more people. And get way less time than that. There's a court case, uh, I believe it was very similar in uh, circumstance as far as uh, somebody died at the hands of an individual behind the wheel. It wasn't a commercial vehicle, mind you, but it was a vehicle, right? Uh, he got drunk, and the judge sentenced him to 10 years of intensive probation because he was too sheltered and to, to realize what he was doing was wrong. <clears throat> Something's broken. And I don't think that it's a race thing either. Something is truly broken. And in the judicial system, in our political system, something is broken. A lot of the chaos that's going on right now, I believe, is manufactured chaos. Okay? You have the Omicron variant that I believe has killed one person thus far. They're talking about lockdowns. They're talking about lockdowns during a an inflation rate that we have honestly never seen before. They're talking about lockdowns. They're talking about lockdowns while there is a shortage, shortage in labor and material. They're talking about lockdowns. Which that does mean if it locks down hard like it did or is in Australia and in places like that, people will starve. They will starve. Okay? Some areas you're not even allowed to walk outside. But there's a shortage of labor. There's a shortage of material. Concrete company. A friend of mine works at they are limited to 100 yards of concrete per day for the entire company. They need a lot more than that to get their to get their jobs done, but that's what they're limited on. I have another theory on that too. I'll tie that in with the EPA regulations. And again, manufactured chaos. Everything in Kenosha, manufactured. Total bullshit lies from the fake news media. Okay. The EPA guidelines <clears throat> on these diesel burning vehicles in the winter time, that is when the regeneration issues really hit. Okay? Your quarries making concrete. Every plant out there is utilizing these diesel machines, and if they're not regenerating, they're going to go down. When I say that the government does nothing but get in your way of success. I mean it wholeheartedly. Fully, I mean it. <clears throat> it looks good on paper and it and it keeps the, the 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 religion of climate change quiet ish. Quiet ish. It just appeases to them. But it shuts down manufacturing. It makes it harder. makes it more expensive. The equipment is not as good as it once was. And if you try and fix it, they fine you $50,000. If you try to actually go in and alter the way that it runs, they'll charge you $50,000. 
they will also charge anybody $50,000 for even doing a simple oil change to a rig that was manipulated. Manipulated chaos. Creating things to fail. All the while, the government grows bigger and bigger and has more of an impact on your life, not just obstructing the way your vehicle runs or the way your heavy equipment runs, but what you are allowed to do with your life. And God help you if you have an accident, 110 years in prison if you're in a CDL truck. God help you if you have to defend yourself because that is not your job. That is the government's job to defend, to defend you. They will try and lock you up for life, and they will use whatever political biased opinion lawyer to get it done. That is how I perceive all of this. I look at it all as one big picture. It is all connected. Everything is truly connected. media is in on it. Big tech is in on it. It is all manufactured chaos to create the absolute hell that is about to happen. They are trying to get average people on their knees begging, begging for the boot to be on their throat because that will be better than having to fend for yourself. And it's working. I hate to say it. I hate to report it. But it's working. I believe that more people. Would jump in the truck. If a government suit and tie. Or government badge. Comes and knocks on your door and says. That truck is going to end in safety. You don't know where it's going. They're just telling you. That's where it's going to go. The malevolence is that is clear. All of human history, we have it written down in books. We know this to be the case that each and every single time a government gets this powerful, the civilization fails, it drops, and a marginalized group of individuals are murdered in mass. We have billions of bodies, billions with a B. That prove that the government does nothing but get in your way and will kill you. I don't care if you feel that the government right now is good. They won't be always. And if they have too much power, they will abuse it. Look at the, the, the few cases that I just pointed out that has happened within the last six months. And there are more and more and more. Watch some of the auditing videos. Just, just, just watch some of them. Too much power will corrupt the government. They have been corrupt for a long, long time. So what do we do? What do we do? We are demonized as conspiracy theorists. We are demonized when we utter saying, hey, it's time to get the red coats out. It's time to overturn it. Is it too late for a peaceful resolution? God, I hope not. God, I hope not. Civil war is definitely looming. I just don't know exactly what the catalyst is going to be. But... I think it's too late. I really do. I think it's too far gone. But whenever I hear a story and, and stuff, that is, that's how my brain works. Is I find the way, I, I look for the connections with the story, with the implementation. That's what I do. There's a lot more things connected than people realize. 
self-driving vehicle, for instance. It sounds really good, right? Well, now you take away an entire population that knows how to drive, and with a single click of a button, they can shut down the vehicle from being able to drive. It makes it easier to lock you down if they so choose to do so. I am so glad that I know how to hunt and gut, uh, gut animals. I'm glad for that. I'm glad that I know basically how to plant and can food. Because I truly do feel that one day these skills are going to have to be utilized just to eat. I hope that everybody has a very Merry Christmas. And I hope that everything that I am saying is nothing but horseshit. I, I do. I hope all, the, all this. Some tells me that I'm right. Some tells me that we are in the last days and there's no telling what's going to happen tomorrow. <clears throat> Something tells me it is too late for peaceful resolution. A bunch of cowards just never stood up and talked. Never stood up and pushed back against the machine. And that's why we're where, where we're at today. That's my tie-in. Tomorrow I'll upload a nice positive video. I talk uh, very dark and stuff all the time, but I'll try to upload something extremely positive. Christmas. Everybody, enjoy your day off. If you're off, if you're at work, thank you. I love y'all.